Let's build an atom of hydrogen. When we locate hydrogen on the periodic table, we'll be able to determine that its atomic number is 1, its mass number is also 1. So let's start out by adding one proton, since atomic number tells us the number of protons, we need to add one proton to produce a hydrogen atom. Uh, now we can see here the symbol. We have H for hydrogen. Uh, we see that we have a plus one charge. We have a uh, atomic number of one. We also have a mass number of one. So we're meeting the criteria for both the atomic number and the mass of hydrogen. The only problem is, is that we have a charged particle at this point. We would call this a hydrogen ion. So we do want to produce a hydrogen atom, which will be electrically neutral. We'll be able to neutralize the charge by adding one electron, and you see that it's going to go into the first energy level. Uh, this produces a electrically neutral hydrogen atom, which has a charge of zero, it has an atomic number of one, a mass number of one, and the net charge will be zero. Now let's build an atom of beryllium. Locating beryllium on the periodic table allows us to determine both its atomic number and mass number. The atomic number is four, the mass number is nine. Uh, note, to find the mass number, we are taking the average atomic mass and rounding it to the nearest whole number. So to make a beryllium atom, I'll use the atomic number first. That was four. That tells me I need to add four protons to the nucleus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And we can see the changing information about which element I have based on the number of protons which have been added into the nucleus. So here we can see that we have a beryllium. However, it's unstable because I um, have a nucleus which is not going to be able to hold together as is. I also have a plus four charge. Um, so this would uh, not be an atom. So let's go ahead and now add the number of neutrons that we need to produce the mass number of nine. One, two, three, four, five. So we can now see that we've produced a stable nucleus, which has four protons and five neutrons. We see the atomic number here is four, telling us the number of protons. The mass number is nine, which is the result of both the protons and the neutrons. So again, four protons plus five neutrons gives a total mass of nine. The final thing that we need to do is to take care of this net charge. We have right now a plus four charge. Remember that atoms need to be electrically neutral. So I'm going to add electrons. The first two electrons will go into the first energy level. Remaining electrons will go into the second energy level. And we can see that once I've added enough electrons to equal the number of protons that I have in the nucleus, I will produce an electrically neutral atom which has a net charge of zero. Now let's build a, an atom of carbon. Carbon is located here on the periodic table. It has an atomic number of six and a mass number of 12. So I'll start out by adding the six protons, which are going to match up with the atomic number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, uh, this six protons, again, is matching up with the atomic number of six. The next thing that I want to do is add the neutrons, which are going to allow me to move up to the mass number of 12. Again, because the mass of a proton and the mass of a neutron are both about one atomic mass unit. So we can see as I add neutrons, I'm increasing in mass until I reach that final destination of 12 atomic mass units. Uh, at this point, I've produced a stable nucleus. My final step is to take care of the charge. At this point, I have a surplus of positive charge, so I need to add electrons to cancel out the positive charge of the protons. So I can see that I've added two electrons into the first energy level. I'm now adding electrons into the second energy level. And once I reach the point where I've added six, I'll produce an electrically neutral atom, which has no charge, because the number of protons and the number of electrons will always be equal to each other in an atom. Let's use carbon as a starting point to build a few more atoms. If we add one additional proton, you can see that now I've converted my atom to being nitrogen rather than carbon. Uh, at this point, I would need to add one neutron to get to the mass number of 14, and I would need to add one electron to produce an electrically neutral atom. Adding one more proton moves us up to oxygen. Let's add a neutron to stabilize that nucleus. Let's add one more electron to produce an electrically neutral oxygen atom. 
moving up to nine protons produces the fluorine atom. An additional two neutrons produce a stable nucleus. And then one more electron will produce an electrically neutral atom. Finally, I can add one additional proton to go up to a, a total of 10 protons. One more neutron will bring me to a mass of, let's take that off actually, and one electron will produce an electrically neutral atom. Here we can see that we have a neon atom which has an atomic number of 10, it has 10 protons, it has 10 neutrons to produce a mass number of 20, and we can see that the number of protons and the number of electrons will be equal to each other, so there will be 10 protons and 10 electrons.